What's up guys, it's Fatter coming to you with quite a weird gameplay. This was uh, me with an M16 not too long ago. I was, I don't know, just being dumb and thought, you know what, I'm going to get a gold M16 for the 15th prestige, even though they're probably going to add in, you know, 16th through 20th prestiges, and that's going to make me want to punch small babies in the face. So, um, I've decided to take on the nearly suicidal job of trying to get decent scores with the M16, but it's gone pretty well. Uh, my KD has definitely dropped a couple points this prestige, um, and it's really because I've been using uh, a lot, a lot of the M16. I've also used the uh, the spaz quite a bit. I actually have a level 30 spaz now with extended mags and damage, and I think I'm almost there to maxing out the M16. So, spoiler alert, you just saw my only death of this game. And it's kind of a long game, pretty slow based, uh, probably the worst, uh, most painful Moab I have ever gotten. Um, <laughs> but I figured, you know what, I'd show it because a majority of the kills at least started off with the M16 and it just kept going from there. Even though, again, disclaimer, not that exciting. Um, a lot of the kills ended up coming once, um, or at least a lot of the kids left, the other team, they left. So, um... It wasn't, you know, it wasn't that impressive. I'm not bragging. I'm like, oh my god, I got an M16 Moab. The the title to this is probably going to be like M16 Half Moab or something dumb like that. I uh, I almost actually got a Spaz Moab with a UMP the other day and uh, mm, did not get it. Was not happy with that. I was actually kind of PO'd because uh, I got killed by a Panic Knifer camping in a corner. Which, you know, is everyone's dream for Call of Duty just to be Panic Knife, but... Who am I kidding? I'm hiding here in the bushes like a freaking ninja. Um, so yeah, but those uh, gameplays you guys have been sending me or, you know, having me look at your um, uh, theaters, that's uh, looking pretty good. There's some pretty good gameplays in there. I'm excited to be doing them. I'm hoping to do the first one this upcoming Saturday. Um, I have a decent amount of free time, so I'm hoping to do one or two of them in a row. Uh, not one, or, one in a row. <laughs> um, doing like, you know, two or three in the row and then looking at you know um i guess just uh i don't know putting them up uh, every couple saturdays or maybe one or two a saturday or one or two a weekend maybe it'll be fatter and critical weekends where i criticize the balls out of your gameplays whatever we want it to be but um i'm excited to do that because i think it's really going to give me an insight to how other people like to play and uh yeah it should be fun it should be a learning experience Oh, everyone, and uh, as you can see, this game has gotten real slow, real fast. <laughs> There's a level 1 and level 36 uh, split screeners, so we are dominating out here. Uh, I hate it. I don't know why, but Modern Warfare 3 seems to do this more than any other game, and it's definitely the whole, um, you know, a couple people leave, and then you're, you're stuck with this, this game for the rest of the game. We're, we're 4 on 3 for like half the game, and that's, I believe, my last M16 kill. Maybe I got one more, but... This is, this is our game for, like, almost the rest of the game. I think some people, like, connect, like, 10 seconds before I get the Moab, which kind of sucks to them because, uh, sucks to be them. I mean, I'd hate to get into a game and get Moab. That's actually happened to me twice. So, technically, I can't say that I've never been Moab because I have been. Um, it just sucks. I don't understand why the game would put me into a game where we're about to get Moab. It just doesn't make any sense. It's, I don't know, Call of Duty... You gotta step your game up, bro. It's not not that good. And you know what? I know something else that's pretty hilarious. As bad as this team was, I actually went against a worse group of players the other day. And that group um, combined score: one was a zero and thirty-two, I believe. One was five and thirty-five, and I think the other one was three and thirty-two or three and thirty-eight or th thirty-three. Otherwise, if you added all of them up, it added to an eight and one hundred KD spread. Yes, I had teammates, three teammates, who were a combined 8 for 100, and you wouldn't believe the shit I heard from the other team. It is ridiculous. I don't understand why people brag so much in this game when they have no reason to brag. I've definitely talked about before. Oh, fat girlfriend's here. Peace. All right, I'm back. Uh, you didn't even know it, but yes, my girlfriend just magically ding-donged her way. Uh, and by ding-dong, I mean uh, pressing the doorbell and going ding-dong. And uh, ding-donged her way in here, but... Uh, like I was saying, yeah, people love to talk shit in this game. And don't get me wrong, I am definitely one of them. I love to run my mouth. It's it's a great thing to be able to run your mouth. Um, especially when you have, uh, you know, some stuff to back it up with. Like, 
you know, I obviously just dropped a Moab on you, um, unless, you know, they all came in late to the game, things like that. Um, that's what I don't like having people run their mouths about. Or, like, you know, when you just have a bad team, and, like, I really don't think that you should run your mouth unless someone comes in and starts talking, you know, talking shit, and then, uh, you know, doesn't back it up. They, they leave the game, so you can't talk crap to them. But it's really not cool to talk crap to people who have, like, literally people who have never played Call of Duty before on their team. Because it, it just doesn't make sense to me. I'm a very rational guy. Um, I, we came into the game late, and our teammates were already had, like, 20 deaths. And I think I managed to get 20 kills to still be the top person in that lobby. But the other team was still like, yeah, you ain't got nothing on me, Fatern. You got your 15th prestige, and you still garbage. And I was like, all right, you realize my team had, like, you know, already 30 deaths when I get into the game. Like, whatever, they're like, you could have you beat us. And I'm like, I, I, don't, I don't get it. I just don't understand it, but... You know what, that's why um, I learned to play with friends, not only because uh, we usually do better, but because it's uh, more fun for me. Because without friends and playing, I would just be sitting here raging 24-7, which is, uh, I guess, one of the positive aspects of Call of Duty. I've met a decent amount of people playing this game that I think uh, I've made some pretty cool new friends in uh, the, the COD aspect, the COD realm, and it's, it's just cool that I can... I now play with these people in different games, like uh, playing Minecraft with some of you. Um, I have different ways to interact with you. So I guess the trolls um, don't do too much damage to the game, but you know they can really make it uh, hell when you get into a game and they just start running their mouth for no reason. Especially when they play with like while they're running assault or, or not running, they're running like support with like stealth bombers and EMPs, and they're bragging about how they're beating you and like it was ridiculous. Um, I got into a clan battle not too long ago. I was with these guys in a clan, and we got against, like, a full clan, and all they did was run EMPs. Like, once one of them got an EMP, the next person would bring out their EMP, and the next person would bring out their EMP. Um, and so they just had constant uh, EMPs, stealth bombers, and advanced UAVs going up on the map, and it was nearly impossible for us to do anything about it. And I feel like that's one of the things that just, I mean, for one, shows how crappy this game was developed. Um by putting in those sorts of streaks and allowing for like basically endless EMPs which can disable an entire team and uh, you know allowing people to think that they're good while doing that it's just it blows my mind but Call of Duty is supposed to be for having fun and uh, just finding new ways to do it so I would highly encourage you guys to just really forget about the KD spread once in a while or just forget about um, completing challenges or whatever it is that um, is difficult or makes you mad um, like trying to have a high KD or trying to win the game and just do something fun once in a while. Not all the time. Um, like I said, I play with uh, I, I play with a lot of friends and every once in a while I'll switch out and you know put the shotgun class on. Right now I'm trying to level up the model 1887 and it's a pain in the ass. My KD spread is not doing too good uh, while using it, but it's just something that you know keeps the game fresh. It's a little fun and uh, it makes me not rage as hard. Uh, but trolls they usually make me rage just because that's what trolls do and yeah so the game is wrapping up here they obviously forfeited at the end uh, i went 43 and 1 with my stupid half m16 slash i don't even know what the heck else you want to call it moab but there it is and uh yeah that's basically it so um leave a like uh look out for your videos the fat earns critiques coming up sometime hopefully this weekend and uh, i will see you guys soon it's fat earn peace Zoom out.